If you go down by 33 and then you go up by 33, you're not actually back to par. A car boom. You're seeing a housing boom. You're seeing, you know, very strong parts of consumer spending kind of shift to other areas of the economy. You know, past few episodes I've covered uh, Q2 GDP in the U.S. versus Europe, and you know how that did. So this was Q2. 2020 U.S. GDP on an annualized basis decreased at 32.9%. Basically, just need to divide that by four. It's really, you know, eight and 8.2, uh, roughly decrease, quarterly decrease um, from in, in Q2 of 2020, obviously due to COVID. So we had blockbuster results now that just came out recently for the Q3 bounce back. And, you know, beat everyone's estimate here. Wall Street Journal has a great article on this. 7.4% increase in Q3 at 33.1% annual rate. So it's, it's still a little bit under. We had, we had, a, we had almost, I actually, actually think it was about 8.9% decrease in Q2. And, um, and now we have a 7.4. So it's not as... The, the the growth rate, just if you're looking at the growth rate itself, if you go down by 33 and then you go up by 33, you're not actually back to par. That makes sense? So we aren't back to where we were pre-COVID from a GDP standpoint, but the economy, you can see that here. It's actually a great graph. Wall Street Journal has. And you can see here, so quarterly GDP at... 18.58 trillion. Okay. And we were, you know, above 19. Another good way to visualize this was here. In really the thing that took the biggest hit and has not recovered is consumer spending on services. So think travel, think hospitality, restaurants, right? All of that is just obviously fallen off a cliff. That said, the delta on services was made up for by um, much stronger growth when it comes to consumer spending on goods um, and uh, private inventories and business investment has come back. Private inventories uh, has residential investment. So basically what you've seen in a couple of these areas is you've seen things like a car boom. You're seeing a housing boom. You're seeing you know, very strong Parts of consumer spending kind of shift to other areas of the economy, right? Where people are moving out of cities and they're going into the suburbs. So you're still seeing very strong, strong spending, you know, and that's why we were able to get such a strong bounce back uh, in Q3, but we're still not back to, to where we were. Uh, but I think, you know, a very strong step in the right direction. Hi, this is Alex from Winner Take All. Thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoyed the content. Feel free to leave a comment, ask us questions, and definitely make sure to join us on our next live stream.